So I had initially got into projectors because I was working for this guy who, if you told me he was mom, I believe you, very Italian, very connected guy, and my son was about to be born. Uh, we ended up getting through the project, and at the end of the project, he pulled out a big wad of cash and peeled off a few hundred bucks and said, get something for your boy from Uncle Mickey. And if I catch you at the bar with it, I'm going to break your knees. So I ended up with a projector. And now my daughter is getting to the age now where she's starting to notice that uh, how come she doesn't have space in her room and my son does. So I need, needed to get another projector and found this one. If you've been to my channel before, you'll know that I've got the Homestar uh, Flux and I've reviewed various different discs on this channel and for the most part very happy with it. The only problem I had was that it was $250 for the projector which came with, I believe it came with two discs. It came with a, a Southern Hemisphere Star Disc, kind of like the, the DS1 comes with and also a Constellations Disc. So now we have the the DS1 and that is $600 on Amazon and it comes with one disc. So right out of the gate a little bit disappointed that they kind of cheaped out on their projectors recently whereas the original run the canister was backlit with a cool like star pattern kind of like a really nice lamp and also the plug for the power cord had a light on it as well kind of smaller things but the reason being I think behind it was that the complexity of it was was not worth it um, but the price remained the same and not only did the price remain the same but they didn't like include anything extra to kind of make up for the fact that they were taking away a pretty stellar feature in my opinion and for 600 bucks kind of was hoping for a little bit more from that being said, the projector itself seems like it's made from premium materials. The size and weight make it uh, feel like it. Uh, they put a little bit of thought into the construction of the projector itself. The actual projector rotates nicely; it doesn't stick up or anything like that on the stand, so it's easy to maneuver. Also, all the controls are, which seem high quality, buttons and easy to access in the dark when you're fumbling around which believe it or not is it's not is not necessarily the case on the other projectors um, that are on the market currently and also the I don't know what everyone else is using it as but I use it for basically a very advanced nightlight for my kids there's nothing more calming for them when you're you know trying to put down a screaming baby then the night sky with the shooting stars and everything else going on very relaxing especially if you spend hours and hours and hours in the room trying to get them to fall asleep with a bottle uh, or if your wife is nursing or something like that that's what I used it for I'm sure some other people are using it for education I don't see how that's possible the discs that you can get are very cool very detailed the one I have I believe the solar system is to scale also happens to me my son's favorite disc the discs that we got were off of Amazon which by the way I should point out that the ones that come off of Amazon are for the Homestar Flux you are not going to be able to order ones for the DS1 off of Amazon for those you have to go directly to the Dark Skies website and they will the DS1 will project the ones that you get off of Amazon but they will not rotate so kind of a big deal um, but that being said I don't know that the image changes from projector to projector so if you happen to have a home star the discs are a little bit on the pricey side they're about forty dollars a piece with with a few other exceptions that may be a little bit more a little bit less but plan on around forty dollars per disc but according to, you know, compared to the other discs that I've got, they're far more detailed, the color discs. But what you won't get from the 
from Dark Skies is a chrome disc that will fit the Homestar Flux. And in my opinion, the chrome disc that comes with it, with the 4.1 million stars, is pretty stunning. I mean, just from a close-up perspective, you zoom way in and you get the the bright spots are actually, you know, thousands and thousands of really tightly bundled together little dots and stars based off of a real star map. So that is very cool. I can tell you the difference between the 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 Home Star Planetarium disc and the Chrome disc is is very noticeable. Now I don't know that it's six hundred dollars. I mean, it's over twice the price of the. Homestar Flux, and you can get the color discs for the Homestar. So, if you want to spend six hundred dollars, you could get the Homestar Flux, and then just get a whole bunch of uh, the discs from Dark Skies, and you'd be all set. With the exception of the the Chrome disc, as I had said before. Now, that being said, between the Homestar and the Dark Skies, like I said, the materials are a little bit higher end it's, it seems like a beefier projector however my home star I've had for four years works fine with the exception of the shooting star does not does no longer work on the home star so I'm hoping that the apparatus for that on the DS1 is a little bit more beefy I would think so um, but one of the things I noticed that when it rotates the disc the chrome disc there's like a, a grinding sound I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. It's not a very smooth sounding. Without taking it apart, I have no idea, but I'm a little bit concerned about the longevity. Now, at $600, you're almost the same price tag, or roughly the same. It might actually be a little bit more than like a Xbox. I haven't checked the price of all those uh, types of games recently, but you know, would you rather have your kid looking at uh, the night sky or staring at a screen with the, the Xbox? Now, I know what I would prefer. The kid's probably going to prefer the Xbox. But it just, just to put things into perspective, that's what the price tag is compared to. And I think even with an Xbox as complex as they are, I think they come with a couple of games. So I guess really just more disappointed that it only comes with one disc. Uh, and also the one disc that they send you cannot you cannot use for the the twinkle uh, module that you buy separately which is $40 um, and why that matters is because there is also a chrome disc with a moon on it um, and to get the, the the module to work you need a dimmed chrome disc for it to look right so you're talking like a hundred and I want to say it was hundred and twenty dollars for the package, just to get the stars to twinkle. So a little bit disappointing. Maybe would have been better if they would have included the the chrome disc with the moon. And then if you're going to buy another disc for the 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 twinkle module thing, you're buying a separate disc anyways. Um, I guess that that's my number one. I guess complaint. It is a little bit splitting hairs, but also it's six hundred dollars. It's a pretty expensive nightlight, to be honest. Um, now, if you happen to be fortunate enough to live in a place that has curved ceilings, well, that's a whole different aspect of these planetariums. I think just makes all the difference in the world when you project it onto a rounded surface like a barrel ceiling as you'd see here it's almost as if you're flying through black ocean which is how these things were meant to be viewed originally if you were to go to any kind of a museum they usually project them onto a dome again the apparatus I'm sure is different the projector is different but just a stunning effect with the chrome disc I can only imagine the chrome disc with the twinkles how that looks uh, but again, I, I don't know if um, that's something that's going to change down the road, especially with the release of their newest projector, which seems like they've they've made it, you know, like a more affordable version. And not only is it more affordable, but it's a lot more affordable. I think $110 and 
the package release bundle is I believe 177 or thereabouts and comes with the twinkle ATM module uh, the constellation disc the moon disc and the stormy night disc for $177 so they're clearly doing it with their lower end models I'm assuming that at some point they're going to start adding the color discs to that uh, size because the the tray looks proprietary so I'm, I'm sure they're going to probably do that so really that's the better deal versus $600 for this projector and it doesn't it only comes with the one disc and it's just it's a little bit disappointing um, kind of feel like you're getting ripped off especially since like I said they got this other one that's I think just I mean from th it looks like 3.1 million stars for the for the chrome disc that it comes with versus 4.1 so you're spending substantially more for that 1 million you know from 3.1 million stars to 4.1 million stars so is it worth the extra cash I doubt it um, this one obviously doesn't look like it's made from the um, the different um, premium materials I also don't know if it has the shooting star feature or the sleep timer which is essential in my opinion so maybe price it out it would be really cool to get all these projectors together and really do a good comparison I do have the Homestar Flux drop a comment below if you want me to do a comparison side by side on my ceilings with the DS1 and the Homestar Flux I almost don't feel like they're comparable um, there's there's quite a bit that's different between the two but if you take the color discs from Dark Skies and put it on one projector versus the other, the image is the same, in my opinion. So the only thing that sticks out with the DS1, in my opinion, is the premium materials. The shooting star is more random, whereas the Homestar Flux is kind of in the same spot always. So that's a big deal, and also um, the chrome discs are stunning. Um, that that they knocked out of the park. Uh, but like I said, it's just a bummer that it only comes with one, and then it doesn't twinkle, and you have to basically buy it again, and the module to get it to twinkle. So that would be my biggest complaint about it, um, especially given the price and that it they took away the some of the features and then didn't add any discs or anything like that so if you didn't know that about the the previous projector it wouldn't probably matter to you but uh, supposedly they're bringing it back for an additional cost who knows when that'll be and who knows what the final cost will be and I understand inflation and everything else but like I said comparing it to like something like an Xbox or um, I know it's not the same thing but an Xbox is far more complex than a star projector I would think um, maybe it has something to do with the fact that they have a limited number and they just jack up the price and you know there's Xbox there's thousands of those um, but then again what do I know let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll talk to you next time